Greetings, unsettled souls. It is time for the Dunce Cap of the Month Award winner. Now, I made myself a promise, and I'm gonna, the only way I'm going to keep the promise is if I actually say it at the beginning of the video, because otherwise I'm never going to be able to keep the promise. Because this story is so stupid that if I don't make the following promise, I will never make it through the video that you're hitting share and subscribe to. I'm not going to yell or scream. I'm only going to point out the stupidity in <clears throat> the calmest voice that I can muster in ways that will show how mind-blowingly retarded this really is. That's an insult to mental retardation. That's how bad this is. NPR. Harvard has a new chief chaplain, and he's an atheist. That's right, an atheist. Good morning, I'm Steve Inskeep. Harvard has a new chief chaplain. Let's tick through the resume here. Greg Epstein started with the university in 2005, so he knows the organization. He's the author of God Without God, so he's published, and he's an atheist. In his role, Epstein will oversee the activities of all religious communities on campus, but his personal beliefs, or disbelief, don't seem to be an issue. The vote by his fellow chaplains was unanimous in Morning Edition. All right, there's two reasons that this is stupid. So actually, I'll give you three. How about that? I'll give you three of them. First and foremost... Whether or not, and I've said this before, whether or not you know about the truth of God or not doesn't matter. It matters that the people who are pulling the strings, as it were, for everyone, clearly is not promoting the aspects of Christianity. So obviously they are worshipping something darker, even if you don't believe in any of it, correct? Okay, stay with me. What they're promoting is evil. And you can tell because one of the precepts of Satanism, according to those who do believe in it, is to make up, down, black, white, talk backwards, um, invert everything. So he who is overseeing all religions has no religion. The reason that matters, if you don't believe in any of it, is if the people who do are worshipping something very dark and very evil... And that's what they believe in, and they are in charge of things. You can see where this should be something that would concern you, even if you have no religious belief. Yeah. Second of all, he is supposed to be in charge of all religions. But it's very hard to bring matters of faith to someone who, in lieu of a proper education and understanding of the truth, of the existence of God. Notice I didn't say opinion. We'll get to that in a minute. The truth. If you don't believe it's the truth, I'm sorry, you're wrong, that's fine. You're allowed to be so. It's perfectly okay. The truth of religion, the truth of God, I should say, that he has no point in being where he is. I'm not saying he doesn't, you know, he should be barred from society or something, archaic. I'm just saying that he should not be in his post. He's not qualified for it. He also doesn't have the background that would support him being able to have such a role. None whatsoever. He may as well be Hunter Biden taking the job. And last but not least is that he doesn't understand the provable facts which are inherent in the Christian Bible which are not in other religions. There's no such facts! All right, well, I'm going to read... I'm, I can't read all of these, but you can find these at... Uh, KingJamesBibleOnline.org under scientific proof. I'm just going to give you a few of these. In the 16th century, we learned that air has weight. I'm going to go ahead and show you the screen here real quick. We learned that air has weight. That's what Job 28.25 says, which was before the birth of Christ. 
in the 15th century, we learned that the earth is round. However, that's what Isaiah 40, 22 says. There's millions of examples of these. The earth is held in place by invisible forces. Job 26, 7. We learned that in 1650. Uh, the fact that man is the uh, human beings were the last living beings created. Genesis 1. The beginning of it all in terms of modern man. We learned it in the 15th century. Blood is necessary for life. Leviticus 17.11. We learned that in the 19th century. Oceans have natural paths in them. Psalms 8.8. 8. We learned that in 8. 1854. It goes on and on and on and on and on. You can see the proof. You can see it for yourself. And there's more than on this page, but with that in mind, let me show you the dust cap that I'm mailing them, and then I'm going to show you the award. It'll be on fact camp. Dots. This is being mailed to them. My Joe, my Joe Biden picture wasn't so bad. Is that, that's not so. He looks a little bit like. Uh, you know, what's his name from the family guy? But then again, so does Joe Biden. It says, don't worry, Greg. That's the gentleman's name. Don't worry, Greg. My son didn't have any talent or experience either, and he's done fine. Want to buy a painting? If you don't follow the news, you're not going to get that at all. Um, Harvard is our uh, no symbol this month. And uh, so instead of teaching the provable facts of the Christian Bible. We have an uneducated hack. That's being sent. And uh, then this also as well, this award is being sent. There's our, our, our supposed genius there. And, and then we get this at a size where you can actually see it. That would be nice. The Nuts Camp of the Month Award. Rather than understanding and teaching, yeah, that the Christian Bible can be proven as accurate and for not having the qualifications or skill to even speak to slash with all of differing religions, you win the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Friends, you can help me afford to send these by donating at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. But what helps the most is hitting share and hitting subscribe. The other thing that helps is leave me a comment that says, I saw this, then let me know where. Right before I go, let me remind you that on Halloween night, a five chances to die. Many of you enjoyed uh, Trish narrating the um, Helltown experience that we went on. A whole group of us went down there and filmed Helltown. And a lot of you liked it, so Dan is loaning us his fiance. Thank you, and uh, it, it, and my love creeper is going to be with it, with us. But uh, Trish and I are going to five haunted locations from sunset. Uh, we'll be done by sunrise. We'll be loading loading them throughout the night, and if that ends up impossible, then we'll have them uploaded very very early for you on the morning of November first. Five chances to die. Would anybody miss me if I... No, probably not. I highly doubt they would. <laughs> People are like, God, I hope one of those chances work.